Hello, my name is Mehmet Bakci, and I am the part of the Tech Technology Lab team at Security University uh, in Frankfurt, uh, leading by uh, Professor Dr. Alexander Mela. This is our presentation for the ERAC Calling 2024 German Parliamentary Corpus GAPA Core Reloaded. And firstly, I will be begin uh, with an instruction, and after that, I will show you the enhancement, uh, then go into the statistic, what we have, and last but not least, the conclusion. The GAPA core was published in 2022 and uh, is the largest corpus of parliamentary core protocols available in the German language, which includes German-speaking countries uh, like Germany, Austria, Switzerland and Liechtenstein which covered three centuries of periods uh, at the national and federal levels of parliaments. And all the data are available in uh, the UEMA format, which were uh, pre-processed uh, using NLP. And here you have an overview of existing corpora, which are relatively small. As you can see, they are uh, only uh, have a small period or focus on only on one area. And this doesn't change after appearing of the GAPA core. For this reason, we uh, just enhance our uh, GAPA core and updated our GAPA core. Now I will go to the enhancement. And as you can see, we have uh, we updated our recent parliamentary protocols uh, with uh, the recent plenary, uh, plenary protocols and also integrated with the regional parliaments from Austria and also extended our historical parliaments back to 1797. And also we changed our um, NLP pre-processing tool from Trax Imager to Docker Unified uh, UEMA interface. The reason was uh, the efficiency uh, of the NLP pre-processing. Now we are quicklier and have more export formats like core NLL and plain text uh, besides the ex uh, existing XME exports and also we provide an attentional Java API for dynamic provision. So you can uh, ex uh, extract the GAPA core of the document oriented database and we also redesign our web interface um, to uh, make it more available uh, for other people and more user-friendly. This is the uh, GAPA core DUE process and uh, the DUE process begins with the collection reader which reads that all the selected data what we are, uh, which are selected and uh, sends them through the composer. The composer coll uh, collects the data and sends them to the pipeline so they can pre-process with different kind of NLP processing tools which were selected for using the DUE. And after that, we uh, import the output of the data uh, of the DUE process into our database. So they are available, available uh, with the REST Java REST API, uh, which can uh, use by different kind of people. And uh, we have different kind of features which are available by the German parliamentary corpus currently. This are the tokens, sentences, part of speech, lemma, named entity, dependency parsing. These features are extracted via SPACY and we have also included the sentiment. And this is our workflow. As you can see, we begin with uh, downloading all the PDFs from the different uh, websites uh, of the parliamentary corpus and also download the, non uh, the new recently updated uh, pro uh, protocols. And after that, we divide them between readable and scan PDFs because many of historical parliaments are only uh, available as in scan formats. And the dividing process uh, is needed because the PDFs, which are readable, will be extracted with uh, via PDF reader. And all the other sc scan text will be converted into um, pictures, uh, page by page. And after that, we divide them again uh, into good quality pictures and bad quality pictures into several folders because bad quality uh, pictures will be pre-processed 
This is also recommended by Tesseract, which we, uh, we, will ch we were using for the OCR process. And uh, the good quality picture, good quality text are the German parliamentary, uh, the German normal text, and the bad quality pictures are the fracture German. For the pre-processing, we rescale, avoid, and remove the noises. And after that, we extract with the selected language package the text via Tesseract. And after that, all the text from the OCR process and also from the PDF reader will be pre-processed with our DU pipeline, like I previously mentioned with Space C3. And uh, we also extract the sentiment. Also, for the statistic, we also did the spell correction to get a quality checking. And after that, we save the output in our database, also as an XME format, to make them available in different kind of uh, outputs. We also have a web interface for our GAPR core to browsing the different kind of data to download them and export them. And also, besides the XME format, like I previously mentioned in the QNLL and plain text, and also we have an implementation of a DU reader for the direct processing of GAPA core. And also, we provide, like I previously mentioned, Java API, which I will show you now. The GAPA core, and this, um, this is the only small example how easy is to use our Java API. First, we initialize the GAPA core API. After that, we get the factory, which all countries and uh, only sub uh, filtered then uh, only at the national level to get the national level. And after that, we build the query to get every protocol in this query. We download them in this uh, example. We download them in the XME format. And after that, we have uh, the query. Uh, we have some downloaded. Uh, the next step is our um, example for Germany and Austria on national level. For this, we build the query builder and uh, extract only the country with Germany with the division uh, of the region level and extract them in the TXT format, like uh, we previously mentioned. And also, you have the option, the dynamic option, to only uh, to only add the new protocols, so avoiding uh, overwriting uh, the old protocols. So now I will show you our statistics, and as you can see, this our um, we have the parliaments here, we have the periods on the national and federal level, which differ kind of periods. We have the sessions, the number of sessions, the number of tokens here, and the number of sentences. And this is our enhanced parliament. Um, the new parliament is the Australia federal level, and the national level was, was also enhanced. And we have also Switzerland at the national level and Liechtenstein at the uh, national level. And here we have the new parliament is the federal level of Germany. Uh, it's very important to it's take to note that we have in VL ignoring. Uh, which means continual state, uh, state assemble. It's, this means that the sessions are only available in collections and not individually, because um, so this is so given that uh, normally we have them individually, but in this case it's not possible. And now I go to the OCR quality checking. Here it's important to note that uh, we have both faces. Both uh, faces refer to Fracture and normal are the normal German text. And we have uh, did, we did the uh, spell checking tool with via Zimspell. For this reason, we have different kind of qualities: uh, the good quality and uh, also the normal quality and the unknown quality. So the normal quality uh, only contains the right and wrong words. The unknown quality contains also the words which were not detected via the ZIM spell, because not every word uh, are possible to correct or to get the quality, um, to know that the word exists uh, in this work library. For this reason, we have different kind of quality. As you can see, 
we have a good quality of um, extracting we are out there uh, the best quality is Baden-Württemberg with 95% uh, nearly and the worst case is, uh, was the unknown good quality by Bundesrat of Syria with nearly 70% uh, percent. and so we can use uh, so many people can use the data for different kind of further analysis and researches so I will go to our conclusion we significantly expanded our protocols with we are updating and also including not uh, included parliaments and like uh, parliaments of the regional level for of Assyria and also we go back to uh, by the historical uh, parliaments back to 1797 and um, so we increase our sentences by nearly uh, 27% and the tokens by nearly 29% and so we have also uh, introduced our new redesigned uh, web, design, uh, web page with uh, the Rese Java REST API which are more flexible and uh, active re reuse of uh, GEPA core and also which provide um, which is easier to use so you can use uh, further analysis and researches with the data thank you for your attention